The cloud, in a lot of ways, presents just all kinds of additional nuance and challenges because people tend to be kind of territorial around, this is my app, this is my server, this is my data center. And the idea of just having it all conflated where things work together is a new idea. I, I guess I look at this slightly differently. In most cases, the concern is more around where is my data, what rules are being applied to it, does it meet my local compliance requirements? Can I identify which server it's on? So it's more of a control issue. They need advisors like us that can come in and help them decipher that C-L-O-U-D word. Right, everybody's doing something in the cloud. I walk into a room and if I talk about cloud, you know, everybody rolls their eyes. <laughs> Some of that's created by the hype. I think there's a lot of what we call cloud washing going on. Yep. Is the value really there or is this yeah. just the latest hot term? There's, I'll, t I'll tell you, the cloud is an extremely powerful paradigm for them to start thinking about how do I get more value and return in my technology investment mm -hmm. and how do I unlock the potential of the people that are building applications to, again, drive and deliver mobility, take advantage of data, do it in a secure way and do it with low cost and great flexibility. The customer wants to be able to take advantage of the economies of scale the consumption-based model that cloud brings, and they want to be able to take workloads that they can get the best business benefit from. In that front, being a trusted advisor and enabling openness, and then providing the flexibility of a hybrid deployment model where a customer can take some workloads and put them in their data center, or take the, some others and put them in a managed or a public cloud, that's a very powerful statement for our customers.